Street Grill. Not only do they serve delicious yeah. poutine, but they're easy to find. Because they're on Argyle Street. Argyle Street. It tastes like home cooking, but better. I love this place. The food is all local. Farmer's Market flatbread. I'm jealous. You can taste the old tapenade, the yellow peppers, and onion. We don't have to live in the city. It's right here in the hometown. In Caledonia. Shepherd's Five. Hey, Jim. How are you doing? Hey, Kelly. You know, my mom used to make it when I was younger. And I was as good as your mother. Uh, it's up there? It's up there. This place makes me happy. It's like you come here and you see your friends, your family. It's a great place. We're here every week or two. We hardly read anywhere else. Do you have a kitchen? It's home 765 Y. The meat is so tender. So there's a secret to it. Well, a lot of the phone numbers in California start with 765. Okay. So when we made the menu, I wanted to make this short rib braised for 7.65 hours. First step is we're going to trim this down. We just cut that between the bones. Next. So now we're going to make the marinade. All right. So we've got some uh, crushed garlic and red wine, Worcestershire, steak sauce, grainy mustard, red wine vinegar, and some olive oil. So here we have thyme, cracked black pepper, and sea salt. So what we'll do now is we'll go and throw these in the fridge. They've been marinating for how long? Four hours. So now we're going to stir them off. Building flavor, but most importantly, we're building texture. Because this is going to be submerged in a liquid, it's going to be like boiled meat unless we do a browning. Set them aside for a second. Carrot, celery, and onion. We're going to start building our layers of flavor. And you've been cooking for how long? Do I really want to say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like 20, 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. Started when you were like six. That's right. Good man. So we're going to do a tomato paste and the garlic now. All those burnt bits. Yeah. All those bitty bits in the bottom, we're going to come up with the red wine. And so then we strain the sauce at the end. It's just it's fabulous. One, beef stock. Then we have some gravy that we make in-house for fresh herbs. we got thyme and a bay leaf. And then salt pepper. And we're going to put our short ribs back in. We're going to do this at 300 degrees for another three hours. Nice. you got to be careful because they'll actually fall off the bone. My God, that's beautiful. And that'll become our gravy. Yeah. But I have to have some ready for you. Nice. So I think we need to make some mashed potatoes. Okay. We steam them up. Steam? Does it change the flavor at all? I think it absolutely changes the flavor because you're not washing away all the goodness of the potato. We throw these in the mixer. So buttermilk and then 2% milk go in there. Then we add our butter, salt, white pepper. Saute pan there, sugar snap, peas, and peppers. Salt and pepper. Mashed potatoes right in the middle. Or it goes right on top like that. Come on! <laughs> That's the new short rib. The flavor is intense. It's wonderful. I can probably do this in about 12 minutes. Oh, yeah. It just falls apart, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Wow. There are certain dishes that make me cry a bit because they're so good. <laughs> this is one of them. Taters. Oh, those are so creamy. I'm very happy right now. The flavor just knocks the taste buds right out of your mouth. What is it about these fish and chips? They make the best french fries there are. And the crispiness of the fish. Wings up. Chicken wings, sir. Thank you very much. You want to join me? I was going to say, chicken wings are meant for sharing, are they not? Absolutely. Oh, well, thank Probably you. So. Thank you very much. Cheers. Chicken and red up. I love this fish because it's always... Bullseye. I'm going to definitely go for it at the Argyle Street Grill in Caledonia next time. <laughs> Put some slab of ribs larger than your head. Three chickens on there. It's a small little starter, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> We got some pork ribs. This is the rib that you serve with your chicken punt ribs. That's chicken right. Ribs. Chicken and rib, steak spice. Yeah. We got garlic powder, cumin, onion powder, and Cajun spice. We just stir this around. They're out of orange though, so they're local as well. Oh, local ribs. That's yeah. nice. We did some exactly 24 hours yesterday at this time. We add some beer into the bottom of this. Beer for flavor. Beer for flavor. Yeah. Beer to add moisture. We're going to slow cook these, so I would say minimum three and a half hours. Yeah. These chickens are staring at me. Yep. Let's tie them up. Yeah. Under and then cross. Yep. Take this string. Yep. Go under the right leg. And go under the left leg. Now we tighten that up. Flip the bird over. Under the armpits. Flip them back over. So this is trussing. Trussing. Chicken's got to trust you before you trust it. So we're going to marinate these guys. We start with salt, paprika, white pepper, thyme, garlic powder, and onion powder. At least 24 hours they should sit. And then the next day we put them on the rotisserie. What's the key to a like, moist chicken? We don't cut them ahead of time, so we leave them whole. Okay. And then when they're ordered, then we cut them, so that way they don't run out. Let's do that. Okay. What sort of sauce is this? Well, we make it in-house. I don't really want to talk about it. Oh, hey, listen, man. It's your thing, right? If there's a smell to heaven, the ribs. Oh, yeah. Yes. Very good. Now we'll drop these fries. All those are gone. We can cut our chicken. So now we're going to cut right through the rest. Take the backbone out. There's our two halves. So all we do is we just cut the leg off. And there's a white and there's our dark. These are the russet. So we cut them every day and we blanch them in the mornings. And we put them right in the fridge. So we uh, grind for sea salt up. Fries. Just your chicken. I have some coleslaw right underneath oh. there. Throw the rib on here. Some chicken gravy. There you go. 
you see, they just fall right off the bone. I can't even pick the bone up to eat them. Mm. Sweet barbecue sauce. You can tell it's got a nice flavor of garlic, but honey. So juicy. One of the things I hate about rotisserie chicken is the dryness. This is perfect. I love the skin too. It, it gets all there. crispy. Let's go ribs. Oh. You really taste the beer. The little grill marks. I love that it gets a little bit of, of char. That is a good, good meal. Excellent. I am happy. That's not regular poutine. It's two way poutine. The flavors are just unbelievable. It's worth the drive. It is worth the drive to yeah. Caledonia for there, girl. What do you think percentage of male to female that are ordering this poutine? Uh, probably 90 to 10. <laughs> yeah, that many women. Two way poutine? Wow, the other way around. Dude. Awesome.